And President Biden is responding this morning to questions over his mental acuity. And this is after an investigation wrapped up on Capitol Hill over potentially mishandling documents. Now, the special counsel's report did not find President Biden guilty of anything, but the wording that was in that report, it may have an effect on public opinion. ABC's Ike Ajachi brings us more. President Biden angrily defending his ability to do his job. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. It's in response to special counsel Robert Hur's investigation into Biden's handling of classified documents. In the 345 page report issued Thursday, Hur, who was appointed by former President Donald Trump, wrote that his assessment of Biden's mental acuity and power of recall was hazy, fuzzy, faulty, and having significant limitations. The report suggests that Biden did not willfully retain the documents and that they could have been brought to the locations by mistake. Hur adding the evidence does not establish Mr. Biden's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. While Biden will not face charges, Hur describes their interview from October, noting Biden did not remember when his term as vice president either began or ended. Hur also writing Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. Biden lashing out at Hur's assessment of his memory, especially her statement claiming Biden did not remember, even within several years, when his son Bo died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, wasn't any of their damn business. The report quickly came under fire from former President Trump, calling it selective prosecution, since he faces criminal charges over his mishandling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. In contrast to Biden, who cooperated with the investigation, her writes that Trump not only refused to return the documents for many months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it. In terms of the leading presidential candidates' ages, President Biden is 81 years old and former President Trump is 77. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.